It is quite easy to apply the concept of damped oscillators, more commonly referred to as springs, to make weapon sway that feels weighty and stable at any frame rate. For this setup, I have the weapons holder separate from the camera node. This will make it easier later down the line to factor in the rotation of the camera when calculating sway. Let's attach a script to weapons holder. We can call the script weapon sway, but in my case I have named it weapons holder. Let's define some variables that we will need. The player variable is a reference to our player. This will be an absolute necessity later when we calculate the difference in the player rotation between frames. The spring constant and damping coefficient both determine the behavior of the spring, or how snappy it is. Personally, I found that a spring constant of 5 and a damping coefficient of 25 looks the best. The final rote determines the target rotation of the weapons holder. I leave the x value unset because we do some stuff with it later, and I have the y value set to 90 because the weapons holder, in my case, doesn't align with the forward direction. Smooth amount will come in handy later when making this more stable at different frame rates. Everything else after this relates to calculations that would be done in the code. First off, we do this in physics process so it runs at a relatively constant interval, as opposed to the fluctuating frames per second that comes with doing it in a process function. Inside the physics process, we first set the x value of final rote to the x value of the camera's rotation degrees. In my case, it is the x value. But if it's not, then it's just whatever value determines the elevation of your camera. Now, this is where the fun starts. We calculate the difference between the current x rotation of the camera and the rotation of the camera last frame, and then we make use of lerp to, in a way, smooth this out, meaning micro changes have less of an impact. Then, we calculate the difference between the current y rotation of the player and y rotation of the player last frame. As a result of how angles work, it means that if you cross from positive and negative numbers, it will take the long way, which is an unintended behavior. In order to prevent this from happening, we make use of two fmod operations. We can then use lerp to smooth it out. Next, we have to subtract these two calculated rotations from the rotation of the weapons holder, and if we don't, then the spring forces don't apply. We can then get into the actual spring calculation itself. The equation we will be using combines Hooke's law with a dampening force to produce the equation of f is equal to negative kx minus bv, where k is the spring constant, x is the displacement, b is the damping coefficient, and v is the velocity. So we first compute the displacement, or how far away something is from something else. Then we take the equation and we turn it into code. We can then add this force multiplied by delta to the angular velocity, and add the angular velocity to the rotation of the weapons holder. Let's jump to after the for loop, where we simply set the rotation of the player last frame to the rotation of the camera and global rotation of the player this frame. And back to that for loop, we loop over every weapon and pass that weapon node into a function named calculate weapon rotation, along with the smooth diff y and the delta time. In this function, we calculate the difference between the weapon's rotation and smooth diff y, Smooth it out using lerp, set the weapon displacement equal to the smoothed value, then subtract weapon displacement from the weapon's rotation. Loading up the project, we can see this in action. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like the channel, subscribe. If you need help, leave a comment. If there's something that I can improve, also leave a comment. Funderber out.